Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10, the crazy troll nation of YouTube, the crazy because I wait till I do a video and decide to put on chapstick so that my lips do not get dry. The troll because I consider myself a troll, like right now with no face paint on, but when I put on face paint, I still consider myself a troll, but a cute troll nonetheless. Thank you for being here. This video, I keep telling myself I am going to do videos more with paint on my face than not, <laughs> but I didn't put anything on today because I'm trying a sample of... The Super Goop Super Screen Deli Moisturizer SPF 40 PA++++. And so I put that on today because I did go out and walk the park. And so I'm trying to see how it's going to affect my skin. A lot of reviews where I broke them out. And when I'm looking at the ingredients, there are some ingredients that are known to be irritating to the skin and cause negative reactions. And so I'm wanting to see how that's going to affect my skin. Also, the second... Thing that I'm going to briefly discuss in the video is I purchased a new light and so I'm going to turn it off. I still have the ring light in the back and my phone is closer to me so this is me without the additional light and this is with the additional light and it does have different settings. This is completely off. It has a yellow light which I actually kind of like that one <laughs> and it has a blue light kind of like that one too and then it has the white light and you can vary the degree of brightness and so I'm trying to see if I would like this. Um, I wanted to have an actual mirror here behind me instead of this cheap mirror that I purchased from Walmart. Yes, there's stuff here. <laughs> the lights on this one don't even work and you're supposed to put batteries in it and or you can plug it in but it doesn't even work and so I've just been using it just as a mirror and so I purchased the one back here, like, okay, I can just use that and when I'm doing videos, look at that and do my face versus still having the ring light and a useless lighted mirror. And so I don't know if I'm going to keep both of these lights or not. And so, you know, let me reach back and turn off the ring light. Excuse me. And so this is without the ring light. And so... Is there really much of a difference? Like, I'm not sure. Well, actually, I, I can see a difference because the way the my phone is angled, I am seeing some shadow. And even now, like this, I can see the shadow behind my hand. And I know people have boxes and, like, all kinds of stuff, like box lights and things. And I don't have a whole studio set up like that. And I kind of don't want to because I'm not um, a YouTuber. <laughs> Um, and I'm not, you know, a content creator and this is not my job. And so I'm like, do I really want to have all of that stuff here when I don't also, because I don't have a designated room for all of this stuff. So I'm going to reach back again and turn back on the ring light. And so if I look back at this video and I like how this looks and I will probably give this mirror away, it just does not work. I purchased it when I was away at a conference because the lighting in the bathrooms and hotels was so horrible and I was sharing a room with someone else and so I didn't want to be in the bathroom taking up a lot of time so I said let me just go buy a lighted mirror but then the light didn't work anyway. The other thing I'm going to briefly talk about in this video is um, Urban Decay, their honey pot set that they had. It, can't, it comes with or came with, it was on QV, QVC and the price was really a really good price came with the mini um honey palette um honey urban decay primer it came with a pencil i generally don't use the urban decay pencils because they're waterproof and waterproof liners dry out my eyes and this shade is amber and it also came with a setting spray and honey pot. And I haven't even used it because I'm guessing it's fragranced. And if you watch me any length of time, you know me and fragrances don't get along. And so I don't even know if I'm going to open a primer. But I purchased this because I always said if they came out with a mini honey palette, I would purchase it. Because I would use all seven shades. And this is what the inside looks like and I haven't used it yet. And so... One of my upcoming videos will be me doing looks with these shadows. When I purchase larger palettes, it is very rare that I use and love every shade in the palette. 
And the lighter shades, the ones that don't show up on me, I would use them and then just put another color on top of it just to say, okay, I'm using more shades in the palette. And so I usually, I'm usually left with feeling like I'm wasting money because half the palette I'm not using. And when I saw the Honey palette, I'm looking at it like, okay, half of it I wouldn't use. So if they had a mini one, I would actually purchase it. And so when I saw this for the price it was on QVC, even though it came with all this other stuff, I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. And I do like Urban Decay shadows. I know some people don't. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. And I will find a home for <laughs> this liner and also this setting spray. The all-nighter setting spray, e even the regular one, I am an oil slick within three to four hours. And so I don't, it's something with the all-nighter spray that as many people that love it and swear by it, it, we just don't get along. I'm an oil slick, like literally just, uh, it's, it's no bueno, no bueno. <laughs> and so I already know I'm going to give that away and also because I do believe it is fragrance. So yeah, I might try the primer, but if I open it in the scented, then I'm going to be like, why did I even open it? Because now I got to give it away. So we'll, we'll see about that. But I'm definitely looking forward to digging into the eyeshadow palette. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, and you'll see me in the next video. <laughs> Bye.